Welcome. Uh, my name is Sean Flowers. I'm the director of NetSuite Enterprise Services here at GSI. And we are getting a lot of questions lately about how to visualize data, uh, specifically data that has dates associated with it. Um, our clients generally want to see things in a more grid-like sort of calendar view, if you will, as opposed to, for instance, right now, whenever I look at an employee record, seeing time entries simply as a list of data with, with those dates attached. It's hard to visualize what days people are working, how much they're working each day, et cetera. And so this, uh, this quick uh, webcast is to teach folks how to achieve a visualization of this data on more of a calendar schematic. Um, so the first concept that we need to understand is that ultimately in order to view these dates in a different way, we will have to use uh, functions in a save search or, or some other reporting mechanism. And for today's purposes, we're gonna use a save search. Um, so, I'm not going to go through the two char uh, functions because there's a lot of uh, examples out there um, in Sweet Answers, but we find a lot of clients have um, trepidation about using case statements. They're not sure about the syntax, they're not sure how they work. And so today we'll be using a case statement to review this data in a more visually appealing way. Um, and so first I'll just quickly... Um, discuss a, a couple of key points. Generally in saved searches, if you're trying to, to really get into data, both the decode and case functions are very helpful. Um, decode allows you to try and find um, instances in your uh, results where the results agree with something that you're looking for. Um, cases allow you to uh, filter and segment results based on the conditions of those records. Um, and in this case, because what we're trying to do is say, you know, if you're on a Monday, we want you to appear uh, on a Monday in a grid view, uh, we're going to be using uh, a case statement. And so we're going to need to uh, create a save search to achieve this. And in this case, I have created a, a safe search here in this demo environment. I'm displaying the results right now. And you can see um, how this is essentially taking Abby's time entries for the month, or I believe we were just looking at Henry's, but nonetheless, uh, it's simply a filter up here, and showing us uh, per day and date uh, how many hours were worked. So we get a quick visualization of how this employee is working. And the power of this is if you've got a team and you want to look up anybody, you can throw the safe search on your dashboard and then quickly evaluate, you know, how are my employees doing? Well, I don't think Henry's doing a whole lot this month. <laughs> um, and quickly assimilate um, sort of when they're billing, what they're billing, when those time entries have hit. Um, so to achieve this, let's take a look at the syntax of the actual search. Um, in this case, the criteria isn't super um, important. These are just filters that we put on in order to show the results that we wanted. Um, however, this is where we get into the actual uh, details of, of the case. And you can see here, um, we're using all summaries so that we are grouping um, based on the actual date of these entries. And you can see here, um, we're grouping on the, the, the day, the you know, one through 31 uh, of the uh, time entries themselves. And then furthermore, we're summing within each day of the week um, based on a two char um, explanation of which day of the week it is, uh, the duration of the time entries. And really it's that simple. It's unfortunately a little burdensome uh, to, to write out all of these um, case statements, but this achieves the end result of uh, normalizing the data into a day of the week view. And then uh, subsequently, uh, you're going to want to use your uh, summary labels in order to achieve the, the sort of you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday view. And whenever you implement this, uh, ultimately what you get is, as I showed before, 
a easily manipulated and um, easily visualizable view of all of your employees' time entries uh, given the month. <laughs> and apparently a few of my employees have not been doing a whole lot of work. Um, but this is ultimately how you can collate this data and view it the way that you want to. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, feel free to contact us here at GSI if you ever want any more details on um, any uh, of your NetSuite needs. We offer services and implementation, uh, general projects, as well as we have support uh, offerings for customers that just need a, a little extra help achieving their NetSuite goals. Thank you very much.